How to build a generator from trash if the world is dead, your phone is too, and you're desperate to see that little battery icon blink again. The grid is gone. The towers are silent. The only glow left is the toxic puddle outside. Your phone is a shiny brick, and you're 1% away from remembering what hope felt like. Solution? Trash-powered electricity. Ugly, dirty, and maybe lethal. Start with a motor, scavenged from a dead fan, toy car, or anything with wire sticking out. Spin it, and it spits out voltage, like a sad little heart still beating. Attach wires to the motor, twist them into a USB cable, scavenged from the corpse of a gas station. No colors match? Doesn't matter. Spit on it, tape it, pray. Now crank it. Use a bike wheel, a hand drill, or your own wrist if you hate yourself. The faster it spins, the more power. If sparks fly, congrats. If it shocks you, congrats twice. You're the circuit now. Here's the messy science. Motors and generators are the same machine, just in reverse. Spin the shaft. The coil cuts magnetic lines. Electrons panic and current flows. It's not pretty. It's not stable, but it's power. Enough to trick your dead phone into sipping juice like it's on life support. Now stare at that tiny screen lighting up, glowing like a holy relic in the wasteland. Maybe you'll call for help. Maybe you'll doom scroll one last meme. Doesn't matter. You built fire from junk, lightning from trash. 1% battery in this world is basically immortality. If your phone charges, congrats. If it fries, congrats twice. You just invented hot phone cuisine. Science. Keeping hope alive on junk and sparks.